Hey guys, it's Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be doing Tinkerous Construct. Now, if you don't know Tinkerous Construct, uh, get it get it now. It's probably one of the uh, nicest mods I've seen around. It um, It's early game, it's end game, and it's, uh, how should I say, uh, not, not complex, the word, it, it excites me. Um, it's uh, cus the customization in it is what it's all about. It's about making tools um, and adding stuff to them and making the tools uh, to have uh, certain features like um, silk touch, uh, auto smelt, uh, speed, uh, luck, whatever you want, right? And it's uh, basically how you can make the tools you want rather than just sticking with the vanilla ones or the, the weird other kinds of tools you can get in the game. So when you do start a game with FTB, oh, not FTB, I should say, uh, if you just start a game that's got uh, Tinkerous Construct on there, you should get a book called Materials in You by Skylar. Uh, someone correct me, is not Skylar the lady out of uh, Breaking Bad? I'm sorry, I've only like seen like four episodes. And yeah, I should really see more. But anyway, it's uh, basically just a book about getting started and the recipes. But we won't need that because I'm pro... Um, not really. Okay, but anyway, what you want to do is you want to start out by making blank patterns, and they're just made out of uh, essentially just uh, wood and sticks. So let's just just grab quite a few because you wouldn't need them for later on. And okay, the next one is you want a uh, one plank, one pattern. Give you a stencil table and once you do it you'll get a, a second book uh, and it's about the tools materials and such basically tells you what the the tools are so you even get these weird ones like excavator and what goes into making them but i'll cover that later i'm going to chuck that book away give us more space okay so once you've got that one i'm just going to place it down here and then I'm going to get, uh, need to make a bit more wood. So, okay. I'm going to make a chest. We're actually making a, uh, a pattern chest. And you put that next to the stencil. You don't need to put it back, it's a good idea, because uh, uh, the stencil table, will, not the stencil table, the, um, no, we'll get to it. <laughs> and the next one is a workbench type. One, do one of them, put a stencil above it. You've now got a tool station that's for building the early tools. And what's the other one? We need a uh, oh yeah, part builder. So you need a not a plank but a block and a pattern. That's your part builder. And you put that next to the pattern chest and when you click on it that's your pattern chest so it, you can see the infantry in there and then when you go to our stencil tables this is where we uh, start the magic you put your blank patterns in there and you click next pattern until you get the pattern you want and just just as a start we're gonna build ourselves a pickaxe so we're gonna need a pickaxe head pattern we're gonna need a no uh, what's that? That's sword blade, something, something. Gonna need a tool binding pattern. No, uh, no, no, no. Tough tool rod. Uh, large, no. There we go. Tool rod pattern. That's the three patterns we need for the pickaxe. And when you go, and then what we do is we actually make the part. So we get the stencil and it says it's material cost of one, which means uh, whatever material you put in here, it only needs one of them to make one. And uh, if you look through that, the second book, uh, the red one, uh, it will go through all the materials. Um, so we've got a stone pickaxe there. You're gonna need a tool rod so you can make this out of wood you can make it out of a slime you can make it out of stone um, 
each one has a different base durability and a handle modifier. So if you make a uh, tool, so you can use slime to get a 1.5 or a 2x handle uh, modifier. So we just do one like that, put that back. And our tool binding, we're just going to use a cobblestone base durability of 131. And it doesn't, it uses 0.5, so it's going to give us one and a stone shard. So we can use that stone charge for making our tools. So we've got our three bits down the bottom, stone binding, uh, wood rod, and pickaxe head. Then we go to our tool station. Uh, this is the repair station. I'll go back and show you what that does. Um, so you chuck in the tool part in <coughs> the slots, and then it says, it's got stone bound. Stone bound is one of those features. Uh, the the less durability it has, the faster it mines. So in that sense, it's pretty cool. It's got three modifiers remaining. Uh, I'll show you how to add modifiers later. Uh, and you can give names to your tools. So it's the Ogier Pick R. Now we've got a pick. Looks just, just like a tool one. Okay, and then what we do is, say we want to, oh, it's just a, we got anything around here to break? It might be this piece of wood. So now we've got a, it's gone down durability. We can go back to the tool station on the repair section. Put this here, and because the main part of the tool is made out of stone, we can just Repair it with stone. So that's why it's pretty good. So instead of making uh, pickaxes over and over again, you can make one and then just repair it with, with what a material was originally made with. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is uh, going to make another tool station. So it is. Crafting table first. Oh, I'm gonna need to grab a stencil. Now let's just leave this one. We make some more. Uh, there we go. Stencil. Tool station, and we're gonna make a tool forge. This is the one that we do later on. So you've got built like this. That's a tool station. Seed brick and blocks of iron. I'll show you how to make the seed bricks. And what they are is you've got to make something called grout, which is generally one piece of sand, or a piece of gravel, and clay. And it gives you two grout for each one. Okay, let's go chuck that in the smelter. Da -da. Da, 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 da. Time warp. And we're done. Awesome. So we've got the seed, these seed bricks now from. Uh, yeah, we've got the seed bricks now. <laughs> and what we do with the seed bricks, uh, we now make. Strange enough, seed bricks from seed bricks brick. So it's seed brick. Bleh. Something, something, something. And we make the rest of them like that. Oh, and now we've made this. We've made Mighty Smeltering, which is the third book, which uh, goes into making the multi block structure, the smeltery, which is later on. I'll do that in another video. But uh, so we've got our smeltery bricks and we've got our tool forge. So we need to make some blocks of iron. Oh, can I go? Do, 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 do. Okay, go on. Okay, one more. Four. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. And pew. Tool forge. Yay. Tool forge. 
Now the tool forge, like the tool station, does the same thing except it lets you build bigger and better things like this, the lumber axe. Uh, the lumber axe is a broad chopping tool. It can fell entire trees or gather wood in a wide range. Fells trees and does a 3x3 three three effect. So let's make this. So we're going to need a, uh, that's a, I think that's a, that's a broad axe head. That's a, a plate, tough tool binding and a tough rod. So we need to make those stencils. So that one, not that one, not that one. That one, not that one, not that one. This one. It's a tough drill rod, the tough binding, the large plate, and the broad axe. That's all we need. Let's go to the part builder. Yeah. Put all these in there. Okay. Bang. And we're just going to make this out of stone as well because uh, if it breaks, we just repair it with cobblestone. So. Nice and cheap and simple. One tough tool rod. And then we're gonna need a broad. See, as you can see, it's, uh, each stencil has a different material cost. So this one is eight, which is much more than before. Plate, which is eight as well. The tough binding, which is three. Okay. This tool uh, that we're building, the, the lumber axe, is the precise reason why I planted those giant fir trees up here. Uh, okay, so binding there, plate there, the thingy there, tool rod, and we're going to call it the, uh, um, what's this call it? Khan. Khan! As uh, Kirk would say. So let's go and test it out. Mm, I'm hungry. Mm, apples. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so usually cutting these trees down sort of sucks because, uh, well, they just suck cutting them down. But anyway, hit the base one and no more tree. Awesome. And how we get? Let's get the next one. Yay. Oh, I've got some fir tree saplings I can plant down. Uh, there. Get a watering can out. Because I want these trees to grow back faster. Bing. Bing. Oh, let's grab this and they're not going to grow up. Oh, I was saying they weren't going to grow. Derp. I thought they were going to get uh, impeded by the leaves, but apparently leaves doesn't care about leaves it's already going to have, so. Hello, spider. Did he just commit suicide? Oh, no, he's still good. Oh, okay. I think, uh... That's it for today, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want any requests or anything like that, just uh, let me know. And until next time, guys. Nah.